All right. What day is this? Tuesday. No, no. eighth. Eight. Eighth of September. This is one of my notes that I wrote to myself years ago. Follow your promptings. What does it mean? It's upside down. It's. I'm showing the camera, so for oh. you, it's. It's on the other side. No, I meant this is upside down. Yes, I know what you meant. <laughs> The back of it was upside down, but I'm I'm showing you this side. Follow your promptings. What does it mean? Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Sometimes you're looking at something and you say, "Oh, like I was just looking at that wheelchair type of thing," <laughs> and it came to me that I could attach a piece of wood to it, and then I'll be able to use it as a Skateboard with a handlebar type thing. What is a drive in church? Um, Do you know? Um, you drive there and then you go inside, you get out and you go? No, you stay in the car. This one is in Deland, Florida. Drive in garden church. You stay in the car. Come visit the only drive in church in West Volusia. They used to have drive-in theaters where you oh, yeah, stayed I've in those. the car. And there's a big, like a big screen TV or whatever, and you watch it outside. It gets dark. Mm-hmm. Zombies come out. <laughs> All right. So here it goes with our ministry, our faith, our purpose, our history, our invitation. Open Door Christian Church. 1700 South Clara Avenue, Deland, Florida, 32720, right? So, our ministry, Open Door provides servants of God who are committed to Him and ready to help you live a life pleasing to God. At your invitation, we stand ready to help and lead you to faith in Christ and assist you to learn to walk with Christ. Please let us know if you need prayer, have a family member or friend who is sick, or would desire a hospital call. We will be honored to serve you. We're here to serve Christ and show compassion to our community in His name. All right. If I ever began a church, it would say, come for half an hour and learn about Jesus. And then there is food. Food. <laughs> Basically, everyone comes after the thing. <laughs> No. And then it would be, what problems can we fix? Let us all talk and reason with one another. That's what my church would say. Oh, well. uh, for instance, a person could say, I'm homeless. All right, you could stay with me. You see? Problem solved. Now what? Well, I don't have any food. Well, we have a food pantry. What else? Well, I need teeth. All right, we have a dentist that you could go visit. You see, all these little problems would get solved. Not having teeth is a big problem. Then you can't eat. Then you can't talk. Right. So you go see a dentist. You saw the the video about Vitali and he helped a homeless man? Yeah. Right. So what is our faith, son? Our faith is self-explanatory. It's our faith. <laughs> Show me what did your dad teach you? This is a test. What? Well, ask me the question if you don't know. No, I don't get how you're This is a test. Tips. All right. Uh, this brochure mm -hmm. was written by some people. Now, let us make our own brochure. Our brochure says, our faith, blank, blank. Now what? Oh, Explain it. okay. Okay, um, <laughs> at so-and-so time, we go to the church to pray and worship and read the Bible. So-and-so time after, like, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you like this. Love God. We believe in God. Love our neighbor. We believe in John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son 
that whoever believes in Jesus shall not perish but have life everlasting. So what did Jesus say? Love God. Love your, love your neighbor. Then he told us about the rich, good Samaritan that was not even Jewish. What did he do? Help the Jewish guy. Right. Got robbed. So we're supposed to go do the same. And then who was the centurion? Um, a guy that said, you don't have to come to my house. Just say it'll be done and it'll be done. Just give the order and my, my servant will be healed. So I want you to be like the Good Samaritan and also like the, what is it, Centurion. And who was Job? A guy that lost everything and, and then got it back. Got it back. Now his children did die, his five kids, but then he got ten more kids. Triple or double the stuff he had. Right. But you still miss the people that died, right? Yeah. So, eventually one day we will be reunited with everyone that has ever lived that believes in Jesus. Like if your kids do or... I believe that. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright. What is our purpose, my son? To do the will of the God. To so okay. do the will of God. Do the will of the Father. How? By praising Him and doing what He says. Which is? Reading the Bible. John the Baptist said two things. If you have two coats, give one to someone that has zero. If you have food, some to have Share that. Correct. So our purpose here is it to make a billion dollars just so we can spend every day at Disney? <laughs> no. No. It would be nice. Well, actually, I'd free Universal. <laughs> Universal, Disney, all of them. Yeah. The point is, go open up that orphanage, son. Now, I goofed up. So, where I failed... Hey you now. must succeed. Yes. Does it work like the government sort of like if you open up a school or something or do something for the community, don't they like do, do they like give you something in return? Yes, but remember like that a Nobel award or whatever? Uh Nobel Prize and yeah. all that. Yes. You remember no uh, Marva Collins in Chicago opened mm -hmm. up a school, right? In her own house. They yeah. would give her the milk and the food for the lunch for the students if she did certain things for the school board. So she said, no. if you drink my milk, you will do what, you will do my bidding or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I believe they had to bring their own food. So, that, But why? You can just get the money from, to get the food from the school. But then they tell you what to do. Yeah. And a war is basically one country telling another country what? The opposite. Obey me or I'll just destroy you. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's going to become 90 minutes. I just want a heads up. Yes, sir. Our history. All right. I'll begin with my grandfather. Rosa's dad, right? Mm -hmm. He was a soldier. He used to say, I went to war, right? Mm -hmm. He had an unexplained thing on his chest, probably a, a bullet wound. Yeah, bullet. He was very silent, very serious. Maybe they tortured him. Right. Uh, but the point is, his parents were rich. So they used to kidnap him from one side to the other. The mother would kidnap him, send some men to grab him, you know. The father would Wait, do the they, same. they were divorced? Yes, and they were both wealthy. And they both wanted the kid. Yes. <laughs> so they would kidnap wow. him. So he was only allowed to play in his garden, which was inside the house. You imagine how big the house is, right? Yeah. There's a garden inside. He was only allowed to play and he could see the moon at night. 
there's a tree in the center of the garden. Then he got kicked out to the other garden. <laughs> right, so he was only allowed to stay there. Now, okay. once he got old, he decided to join the military because he couldn't stay with his mother because she had a new husband. And he couldn't stay with his father because... He probably did, but no. The reason was his own father was mean. When he got on his horse that he had used, his father said, when did you buy that horse? Where are you going? To see Margarita. When did you buy that horse? Show me the papers. I don't have them. So he got down, right? And he never accepted a gift from his dad. And so he joined the military as soon as he could. He told me to do the same. But I always knew that if you have two brothers and one is already in the military, then what do you need the other one in there for? Somebody has to take care of the kids or take care of the parents. Who takes who to the doctor, right? Yeah. All right, so the point, let me finish it with our history. He said, Portate bien para que te vaya bien. What does that mean? Be good so that stuff goes good. You get good karma, right. And he believed in the Our Father. Give me that paper, man. The Our Father has just about everything in it. Forgive us our trespasses. I, I don't know what's left out. Give us our daily bread. That includes socks, right? Everything we need. Water. Forgive us our sins, our trespasses. All right, so now... <laughs> what do you want to do now? I want a break. Yeah, I see you popping the bubbles there. God bless you and those that surround you. <laughs>